What is going on Pokemon Card Nation? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to open two Legends of Galar tins. We've got Zacian V and Zamazenta V. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into these bad boys. Now I don't know what packs are in here. I haven't checked and I haven't actually seen the regular tin shape ones. The ones I have opened previously were the ones they were shaped a little differently. They were like like this. I don't know if that makes any sense, but you know, you know what I'm talking about. But we're going to go ahead and see what's in these. I believe it's four packs for these types of tins. The other ones have like five. Is it four? Yeah, it is four. Okay. Now I'm hoping there's some good packs in these, but my thoughts are going to be, it's going to be like Sword and Shield, Sun and Moon, and Rebel Clash. Which I don't mind Rebel Clash, but I know it's not everyone's favorite set. So we'll have to just see what's in here. I'm excited I found anything. Uh, they had they had a full display up of these at my one of my Walmarts, and it just the display looked really cool. I was like, I wish I could just take the display box and leave the tins, but I needed a tin or two to open, so I bought I bought uh, two tins to open here. And there was about there was a full display, so I think it was like six or eight tins. I don't remember. I think it was eight tins that they had. I think it I think it was eight tins that they had up there. And here is a code for whoever wants that. And we have Rebel Clash, Rebel Clash, Sword and Shield, Evolutions. Did not know Evolutions would be in here. That's good to know. So I guess if you're looking for it, these tins are pretty much worth it. Plus, I don't, I don't mind Rebel Clash. At least you get modern stuff. I'll, I'll give it that. Let's go ahead and see what's in this first Rebel Clash. There is a full art Sonya I would like to pull. I think a Rainbow Sonya too as well. And a Golden Rillaboom. I have gold. Is it Golden Rillaboom? I think so. I have the Golden Frostmoth from the set, but I totally wouldn't mind pulling it again. Salandit, so Ponita, Mincino, Sable, Blitbug, Reverse Hollow Rhyhorn, Hollow Cinder Ace. We'll take it. Actually, just pulled this the other day. This is the Hollow that I think is worth the most in this set too. It's like two bucks, which is actually quite a bit for Hollow. And we have an Intel. Wait, who is this? Ah, yeah, Inteleon V. That was a Sword and Shield base. I thought that was Rebel Clash. Sorry, my bad, guys. Alright, now we're on to Rebel Clash, where the Full Art Sony and the other cards I mentioned were. When we do move back onto a Sword and Shield pack, I really want Golden Zacian, but I wouldn't mind Gold Zamazenta. I've already got the Rainbow Marnie, so I don't need that. Time Pull, Trubbish, Reverse Boss's Order, which this may or may not be worth like a dollar or two just because I know the trainer card itself is good. Hollow Boss's Order. I'll, I'll sleeve these just for the fact that I think they are worth a dollar or two, but it's funny that I got both of them. Because I know the full art is worth something, and that's because the card is actually good. So we'll have to, uh, I'll have to hold on to these. I think in terms of playability, that pack is actually pretty good. Up next, we have Rebel Clash again. Let's go ahead and see what's in our next Rebel Clash pack. We've got an Imp Dimp on the front. Come on, Imp Dimp, bring us some luck. We've got a Water Energy. Oops, put this over there. We've got a Water Energy, Mascarin, Hatterim, Corkle, Imp Dimp, Magmar blowing fire out of his mouth, Electabuzz, Scalvet storing some nuts, Snover, Reverse Metapod, Regular Rare Ludicolo. I like the art. I hate Ludicolo. Just for the simple fact that I hated battling it in the XD Gale of Darkness. But I really like that art. So, I'll take that as a decent pull. I only wish I was trying to collect the full set of Rebel Clash. Because I probably have close to it. But I'm not. There is your XY Evolutions code. Let's go ahead and see what we have in this pack. We'll look for Reverse Charizard, I think is what I want. Or the... any Are there any good breaks? I don't think there are any good ones in this. Hey, Pikachu... Machop. Reverse Charmander counts as a hit. I'll take it. And a regular rare Beedrill. I'm gonna sleeve this too. This is actually pretty centered compared to most cards in Evolutions. What in the world is happening? I've got like a mixture of sleeves here. I haven't been double sleeving lately um, due to the simple fact that it takes more time. So I'm only gonna double sleeve really like expensive cards. Everything else I'll just single sleeve for now and then I'll fix later off screen. So I apologize for that, but it's mostly for time's sake. 
Also, quick intermission, if you didn't see, I pulled a Charizard VMAX yesterday. I'll link that video at the end of this one if you want to take a look at that. Up next, we are moving on to our Zamazenta, Zamazenta, whatever you want to call it, V box, tin, whatever it is. We're going to hope for some decent pulls. The thing is, like, we got decent pull, even though we didn't get an ultra rare, the last, the last tin actually had what I would consider decent pulls, especially in terms of playability. Like, if I was playing right now, which I kind of was thinking about getting back into it once COVID calms down, because I really, there is a local place that does, like, Friday stuff. Um, it's been a while. I haven't played really competitively since X and Y. I played a little bit during Sun and Moon, but uh, I just, it would be a lot of fun to get back into it. The only thing that's really pushing me even more than before is the expensiveness of certain cards. It used to be that playability drove most of the market other than your collectible cards, but now it's completely collectability that drives the market, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. We'll start with Sword and Shield base set. Let's see if we can pull anything good. Pikachu on the front, which already counts as a solid pull in my book. But, there could be something else even better in here. I've never had too good of luck with Sword and Shield base packs. I had to buy the Marnie when it was like $25, which I'm so glad I did. Wooloo, Shelder, Krogunk, Reverse Silly Cobra, Stonejourner, VMAX, Secret Rare. I am the Stonejourner King. I remember pulling a bunch of Stonejourners back when I first started my channel and Sword and Shield came out. I will double sleeve this one though, just for the simple fact that it's a Secret Rare. Don't think I need this. I may or may not need it. I was trying. I was in the middle of collecting Sword and Shield base set before Vivid Voltage came out. Now I'm moving on to both of those, so I may or may not need that. I do not know yet. If I don't need it, it'll end up on my eBay store if you want to take a look there. Some awesome cards up there. I hope to get more stuff up there sooner. I'm kind of slacking on it again. I need to pick up the slack. And what was this? Rebel Clash? Yeah, it was. All right, Rebel Clash, bring us some luck. Water Energy, Karkal, Beware, Skyla, which I didn't know was in the set, Helioptile, Honage the Sword, Litwick, Galarian Corsola, Binacle, Reverse, Natu, Toxtricity, V. Nothing crazy. No reason to get overhyped, but still, I'll take it. Thing is, like, like I said, the pulls for both of these haven't been bad, but they're good in, turn in different ways. I'm sure that Stonejourner V has actually gone up in price since the last time I pulled it because packs are so hard to find. I would think that means, for the most part, that some singles have gone up. Not all of them, maybe some of them. We have got Water Energy, Beware, Speed Lightning Energy, Pelipper, Bunnelby, Vulpix, I love that art, Phantom, Galarian Farfetch'd, Scalvit, Reverse Hatena, Regular Rare Galarian Mr. Mime, Last Pack, time it is time for some last pack magic xy evolutions can we pull one of the two really good cards that are in the set no there's a cool blastoise in here too so i wouldn't mind that the venusaur i like the full arts in the set we're gonna go ahead and see if we can pull anything remotely good we've got super potion charmeleon venusaur spirit link sand shrew ponita magnamite pikachu machop reverse hollow seal Regular rare far fetch. So nothing too crazy, but in terms of playability and then one secret rare, I think we did okay. Plus this cool reverse Charmander. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, feel free to leave a thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment and share this video. I'd appreciate that so much. I will see you all on Friday. Have a good one. Bye now.